protocol, we hooked up with a different team, this time in California, out to prove all the naysayers wrong. There's a good wind blowing here in the Bay Area of San Francisco. Watch that kite! So Rick Cavallaro is taking his BUFC out for a spin. What's a BUFC, you might ask? Well, the B stands for big, the U stands for ugly, and the C stands for cart. I think downwind is going to be exciting. Believe it or not, this cart can go faster than the wind directly downwind. We do have a number of aero PhDs, professors, physics professors and PhDs that still assure us that it's impossible. So that's when it got even worse. JB started getting the idea in his, in his head to build one that was full size and manned, you know, uh, that we could that we could actually go and, and set a record with in front of an organization that was recognized. That's why they've been building the BUFC. They've already got a thousand hours of work into it already. Combination of, of uh, wood, carbon fiber, fiberglass, and foam. It's a composite structure. Getting the right propeller has been the biggest challenge. We have a 17-foot propeller that, that uh, you know, we designed and built ourselves because, unfortunately, you, you can't buy them on eBay. The propeller acts like two different sails catching the wind. A very long bicycle chain attaches the prop to the transmission, which turns the wheels. Now, something this big needs lots of space and wind, so they took it down to the National Land Sailing Race in Ivanpah, California. We really wanted to take some, some conservative runs and just see how this thing behaves on the lake bed. The important thing to watch here is the orange ribbons. They indicate the direction of the wind. Notice as the vehicle starts out, the ribbons are flying toward the front of the vehicle. As it picks up speed, they stop moving. This is when the vehicle has reached wind speed. I had a little GPS mounted on the chassis just in front of me, and, and I was using the, the radio that I use uh, in, when I fly so that I could talk to the folks in the truck. And I would read out uh, vehicle speeds, uh, and they had, they had wind speeds uh, from the ground. Finally, the ribbons end up trailing behind the vehicle. We let it rip, and we were astonished to find that in 15 miles an hour wind, it got up to 30 miles an hour. It's not just going faster than the wind, it's going twice as fast. On the second day, we had it out in probably a 15 to 16 mile an hour wind, and we got it up to 45, and it was still accelerating when we broke the upper chain wheel. It, it just tore the chain wheel up. Now the hope is to get this thing as strong and as aerodynamic as possible. Put a bunch of sensors on it and go for an official record-breaking run. Our stated goal now is pi. We want to get it to a little, a little more than three times the wind speed. But secretly, I would love to see us get to four. I'm not, I, I don't imagine four, but I, that would be fun. They just need enough wind and the right place to do it. And maybe then people will believe this big, ugly cart really can go faster than the wind. By the way, it seems the name BUFC didn't stick. Rick and JB are now officially calling their vehicle the Blackbird, a reference to the stealthy SR-71 Blackbird military aircraft. The new name is also a nod to the Greenbird, which recently set the wind-powered land speed record.
He's flying. looking at the fastest sailboat in the world. That's right, it's a French experimental boat called L'Hydropter. And this 70-foot trimaran with its marine-style wings practically flies on the water. His passion has taken him all over the world, chasing sailing's biggest speed records. Three years ago, we broke the absolute speed record over one nautical mile. Our top speed was around 56 knots, 105 kilometers. In case you didn't get that, he said 56 knots. That's almost 65 miles an hour. And it feels even faster when you're on the boat. <laughs> 